shake that. Shake it up. Oh, no, no, no. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure, I'm okay. sure, I'm sure. Okay, so then strain that into your champagne flute. Hey, I'm Tom Sandoval. Hi, and I'm Ariana Maddox. And we are going to be serving up some cool cocktails for you today. We're gonna do the Sir Strawberrini and the St. Vanderpump. I don't really care for the way Ariana said Sir, so I'm actually dubbing Lala's voice over it. So get ready. So uh, the first cocktail we're gonna be making is the Sir Strawberrini. You're gonna need vodka, Cointreau, Lime wedges, lemon wedges, strawberry slices, some strawberry puree, sugar, and simple syrup. You're gonna take one lemon wedge, drop it into your mixer glass. One lime wedge, <laughs> drop it into your mixer glass. Yeah. So then we are going to add about 0.5 ounces of simple syrup. Now you just mash it on up. I always like when you muddle the other way, Ariana. The other way. This way? Yeah. <laughs> See, the reason why we are muddling is because it incorporates the oils from the rind. All right. I kind of want to know what your first date was. Oh, I don't know what our first date was. I know what it was. We were actually, we were meeting up and I was hanging out with friends and you wrote- It's not our first date though. Kind of, yeah. You think so? I wouldn't refer to that as our first date. It's a really, it's a funny story. She's embarrassed for some reason. No, I, okay. I mean, we hooked up that night. <laughs> so then we are going to fill that glass with ice and we are going to add 2.5 ounces of Vanderpump vodka. You can use any vodka that you like. But Lisa Vanderpump vodka will taste the best. Now you're gonna add 0.7 ounces of Cointreau, 0.7 ounces of the fresh strawberry puree. It's the best part. And this strawberry puree is made fresh in a blender. You take about this many strawberries, chopped up, add about two ounces of sugar, two ounces of water, blend and you're good to go. Do it. Get in. I don't wanna hit you in your face. And before I put this in my glass. Take that lime, give it a good old rim job. It's the professional term for it. Mm -hmm. A little sugar rim there. Yeah. Beautiful. And there you have it. And then garnish with a strawberry slice. And there is your strawberry meat. Voila. Can I get a taste test? Sure. Oh. <laughs> it's delicious. Yes. You should do this for a living. I thought about it. Yeah? Yeah, I've thought about maybe doing this. I've been bartending for almost 10 years. 10 years for me too. I've been bartending for Lisa for seven years. I feel like mixology is just sort of a term that somebody dubs themselves after maybe growing out a handlebar mustache and purchasing a vest. He does have a really cool vest. I do have a few cool vests. This cocktail is the St. Vanderpump and it is a champagne cocktail. So you'll need a champagne flute. You'll also need some champagne, some LVP pink sangria, St. Germain, simple syrup, raspberries, and limes. The St. Vanderpump is named after St. Lisa Vanderpump of West Hollywood and Beverly Hills. She looks down upon all of us and makes sure that we're always protected and always inspired in our daily lives. We celebrate St. Vanderpump Day by going to the church of LVP and getting down on our knees and drinking a St. Vanderpump. And making human sacrifices, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Making human You're sacrifices. Next. You're next on the human sacrifice really? list. Yeah, are you excited? No. So Tom, you're just going to muddle lime with 
Don't do that. Please. And with three raspberries. Oh my god. Half an ounce of simple syrup. Killing me right now. So muddle those. Here's your muddler. It's okay if I take a little frustration out on that. It's okay if you do that. Tom, what are you doing? Dustin Hoffman used to come by Villa Blanca before he would go to the dentist. And I made him a really well-shaken, bruised shot of Blanco tequila. And I told him I had his local anesthetic right here. And, I, and then I stopped and I was like, hey, is it safe? He uh, was like, ah. He's like, I haven't heard that in a while. <laughs> he hated you. No, he didn't. He hated you. No, he was impressed that I knew about Marathon Man. So put the ice. Oh my God. There's a scoop for that. Yeah, but scoops are for losers. So then you're gonna add your two ounces of Vanderpump Sangria. And then you're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of St. Germain. And go ahead and shake that. Shake it up. Very carefully, try not to get too much raspberry in there. And now you're just gonna top with champagne. Champagne tends to get a little rowdy when you pour it over anything. And you're definitely gonna wanna make sure that when you make this cocktail that you don't put the champagne in the glass first because when you pour anything else into champagne, it's like a volcano. So then you're just gonna garnish with a raspberry and you're good to go. All right, <laughs> sweet. Yeah, should I taste it? Let's see how you did. With a hint of tartness from the lime and topped with bubbles, this could be our favorite champagne cocktail ever. Whoever wrote that, great job. To get the recipes for these cocktails, click the bubble. Boop. I feel as though it's cheating if you make up a superlative that you doesn't really exist in the yearbook. I don't think so. Most likely to succeed. Best all likely. around, Tom Sandoval. Best dress, Tom Sandoval. Best all, uh, most likely to succeed, Tom Sandoval. Keep going. Most likely to end up in jail, Jax Taylor. I won best smile in high school, so. Best smile, Ariana Maddox. Yes. Who's class clown? Tom Sandoval. You can't win them all. Yeah. Best couple. Tom Schwartz and Katie Maloney. Yeah. Best couple, James Kennedy and Kristen Doty. Yes. Hands down. Hands down.